When most people talk about Ladakh, his first thought was, look, it's a great place to go as a trekker. But making a change in a life of 20 kids who are stuck in some remote settlement is going to be tough. Hi, uh, my name is Sujata Sahu. Uh, I run a foundation called 17,000 Feet Foundation. I work in probably one of the most gorgeous places on Earth, uh, the high altitude Himalayan regions of Ladakh. And we work in some hundreds of really remote, very tiny villages and improve the schools of Ladakh. You won't believe this, but Ladakh actually has almost a thousand schools and the average school strength is barely 25 children to a school, not a class, mind you. So out of these, over 900 are government. So we decided to adopt 100 directly. So the 100 schools we chose, we chose from all the border regions, the China border, the Pakistan border, the villages which require a three-day walk. What these teachers really lack is exposure. Imagine living in a village where there are no roads, no electricity, no television, no mobile connectivity. What do you know what's happening in the villages outside? They don't have access to what you and me have access to in the cities right here. One of the gaps at 17,000 feet is trying to fulfill for the teachers. We try and get them exposed to new methodologies, maybe bring them technology, access of technology, so they have better ways to teach. Show them what's happening in the world outside so they feel more inspired and more motivated. So we bring in trainers from outside, we collaborate with other non-profits and say, look, you've done something amazing, say, about sex ed, maybe something about teaching techniques, or something that we've done ourselves that we can train them on. The enthusiasm with which they come in and the passion with which they want to learn, it's amazing. We've now set up playgrounds. Um, you know, in 140 schools, and mind you, these playgrounds, many of them we've had to carry on horseback for over two to three days to reach. We've painted schools, we have put in furniture in many schools, we've set up libraries in 300 schools already. Like I mentioned to you, there is hardly any electricity, but we've actually electrified 120 schools. We've now given them um, access to digital learning. So each of these 120 schools now has, has tablets, a television, a solar panel, and very customized digital content from which the teachers and children can both learn and teach. In the past six, seven years, we've had about 400 odd volunteers. Over 95% of them have been Indians. It's amazing to see that Indians actually want to make a change. It's very, very heartening. Yeah.